welcome to this module on research methodology. I am Dr. Subhash Todi. Today I am going to talk about the test of significance. Basically to give you an overview of how to analyze the results from a study which we have searched through, uh, through evidence-based literature search. So in this module we are going to talk about population statistics, sample statistics, what is null hypothesis, what is type 1 error, what is type 2 error, how do we know what is power of the study, the p-values, confidence interval, statistical significance and clinical significance. These are the terminologies you are going to hear or read many times in different articles. Normally whenever a study is done, we want to know the entire population. And the terms which are used is the number of population is by capital N, the mean is by M and standard deviation. But it is not possible to analyze the entire population or to study the entire population. So a random selection from the population to a sample is done. And the statistics of that sample is sample size is small n, sample mean is x and sample standard deviation is s. So the statistics calculated from a sample are only estimates of the true population values. So that first thing we need to be very clear that whenever we are studying, we are studying a sample and we are going to infer from the sample about the entire population. Now there are two kind of statistics. One is descriptive statistics. That means whenever we collect a data, we talk about and summarize the data. We have mean, median, standard deviation. Now there are inferential statistics. By inferential statistics we mean that whenever we analyze a sample data to estimate characteristic of the population from which that sample is drawn becomes a inferential statistics. Here we talk about the p-values and the confidence intervals. Normally when a data is gathered and if a data is sufficiently large enough, most of this data usually follow a natural distribution or a normal distribution with a bell-shaped curve. That means there is a mean and a median and the total area under the curve is 1 and 50% to the left and 50% to the right of the mean.